It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I'm here to do another daily vibe for the 15th. For right around the 15th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. I have to respond to somebody's comment. Somebody made a comment today on uh, the Virgo reading. Like she thought the reading was just for her. Wake up. Not every reading you watch has your name on it. Only an, a, a highly awakened individual knows that. Let's see what comes up for around the 15th. We got all these newbies that are just learning. It makes it difficult. It does. It makes it difficult when you got these people who just don't know. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is an obstacle. There's an obstacle in the way. Somebody is trapped. They're trapped. They're stuck. They're trapped in fear. They're not seeing clearly. We got somebody here who doesn't see very clearly. They got them blindfold on. We have somebody that is... They got their arms tied behind their back. They can break free, but they're choosing not to. Yeah, somebody here that is pretending that everything is okay, but it's not. They could be lying to themselves. This is being confined, being contained. So somebody may be confined. They may be contained in the next day or two. This is containment, right? The devil reversed. Now the devil reversed could be needing to take control, needing to break free from an addiction or a codependency. Now the devil reversed is somebody that is tied to a situation. And this one is too. And I think it's some sort of addiction. Okay, and this addiction is keeping them confined. Okay, this addiction is keeping, it could be codependency, it could be addiction to another person. Could be an addiction to a drug or alcohol or food or whatever the heck it is. But this is a serious addiction. Now, the devil reverses things getting worse. It could be a disaster. It could be a death. It could be. I'm just being honest with you. This is an obsession. Okay? This is a need to break three, free. This is things getting worse. This is a deep, dark place. And somebody choosing not to see the truth. Somebody's choosing not to see. This is extreme suffering, the devil is. Extremely. Somebody is, there's probably some poor health here. There's ignorance. Just saying. There is a need to break free in both of these cards. Somebody needs to break free from some sort of enslavement. They are choosing to stay in it because it feels good for a minute. But it probably doesn't feel good anymore. Now it's a bad habit that is out of control. This is things getting worse. The devil in reverse is extremes. Seven of Pentacles. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Do you really need to keep doing this? There's an opportunity for happiness. You don't you don't need to be connected to this anymore. Do you wanna do you wanna continue? Do you wanna get hurt? It's like this. You think about the roses. Every rose has its thorn, right? So yeah, it may it may it may smell pretty or it may look good. But it hurts. So we got somebody that really needs to think, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it to stay in this situation?
page of pentacles reversed. So this is a dead end. This is a dead end. There's something, there's a blockage that is standing in the way. Somebody isn't, they haven't planned efficiently or they've lost sight of their goal and they've let something, maybe it's even their mind, they, they've let some sort of addiction or ego even, because this is an extreme ego, get in the way. So they have. Now, and it's interesting because roses are a symbol of love and pentacles are a symbol of money. So it's either, and money is stability, you know. Now you could just, you know, go for the love. But anyhow, um, this is a dead end. It is a dead end. We have somebody that's lost focus. They've lost They've lost sight of their goal. They've let their ego get in the way. They are obsessed with something either, or they are addicted to something that now they are tied to. Okay, and they're tied to it heavily, the first two cards. They're bound to it. Ooh, the moon. This is definitely an addiction. Now, the devil... And the moon are both ruled by the shadow. Okay, all is not as it seems. All it really is not as it seems. On the surface, something looks okay. But below the surface, it's not. So there are some hidden forces here that are unseen. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. And everything may seem like it is okay, but it's not. It's not. Now, this is an illusion. I think that there's some unseen problems ahead. I do. <laughs> All is not as it seems. This is, a, this is a disguise. And this is fear. Somebody is wearing a disguise. This is definitely dark. Okay, it's a somebody is in it. This is like a dark night of the soul the kind of thing. Nine of Wands. Boy, we've had that a lot lately. Nine of Wands is a challenge. This is expecting trouble. Expect some trouble. There may be an escape. Somebody that tries to escape. But I don't think they're gonna get away with it. I don't I don't think they're gonna be able to escape, but they may try to escape, but I don't think they're gonna get away with it. They may think that they can, but I don't think they can. I don't think they can. This is needing to take ownership, but wanting to escape. So I do feel like we have somebody here that wants to escape. And this is needing to escape and trying to escape. Somebody's going to try to escape. They're going to try to escape. It's going to take a lot of willpower and a lot of strength. Eight of Cups saying goodbye. Walking away. Leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind. Somebody is going to be saying goodbye. They're giving up with the Page of Pentacles reversed. They are. Somebody is giving up. They're sick of the pain. They're sick of getting hurt. They've been thinking about it for a while anyway. Ooh, Chariot reversed. That could be, and I'm not trying to scare anybody, but it could be an accident with the Chariot reversed. This is coming to a dead stop. This is lack of control, out of control. Um, this is a disaster ahead. It's emotional outburst. This is anger, okay? This is a lack of direction. Somebody that is fearing, feeling scattered, okay? They can't master their emotions. They've lost their focus. There's lack of discipline here. Somebody's definitely giving up. They are giving up. And there could be an emotional outburst or they just, it feels like 
don't know, I hit that, didn't I? It feels like it's a screeching halt. It feels like it's a screeching halt. It's a sudden stop or something like that. It's almost like I can hear it. Six of Cups reverse. Now this could be uh, children leaving home. It could be packing up. Packing up and leaving home. Somebody's leaving. Okay, they are definitely leaving. There could be some tears for the Six of Cups reversed. The Six of Cups is nothing stays the same. This is freedom from obligation. Memories, even in reversed, a lot of remembrance could make somebody angry. Things could get out of control. The chariot reverse is out of control and unable to master emotions. So there's, there's, there could be a disaster. This is a disaster and this is a disaster. So there could be a disaster ahead. Somebody tries to escape and they don't get away. And maybe that's what the other reading was as well with that Knight of Swords. This is leaving, but this is a dead end, and this is a dead stop. So they may come to a dead end, and they don't make it. So what the hell is this? Now, this is um, a Seven of Pentacles is investment. Is it really worth it? you got to think about this. Is it really worth it? We have somebody here that needs to escape from an addiction, but they don't have the mental strength to do so. Or they need to find the mental strength to do so. They've been in, unable to master their emotions or find the discipline to do so. But I do feel like they're going to try to escape from something. I think they are going to try to escape. And, and maybe they're trying to escape from... What the hell are they trying to escape from? These shackles. That's what I wanted to say, these shackles. Now, the Queen of Wands could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. And this is a fire sign, which is, it could be a male or a female. That is That may be who is trying to escape. Could also be a Pisces or a Cancer or a Capricorn. Um, we have an individual here that is fearless. This person is fearless, very confident. Um, very powerful, very forceful. This person is given to take action, so they are they are very, 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 very strong willpower. Okay, so this person does have willpower. This is this may not be the same person. Okay, because this is an emotional outburst ahead. This person is very determined. Aha! That's what it is. This person is very determined. And this is hiding something. This is hiding something. The moon is... And so isn't the devil. The moon is hiding something. It ruled by the shadow and this one is too. Somebody is trying to hide something. I don't think they're going to get away with it. I don't. Strength reversed. So this, this is a weakness. This is ego. We have somebody here that has a big ego. And I think that they, they can't control it. It's out of control. There's something that is out of control. With the, with the strength card reversed next to the chair reversed, this is out of control. We have somebody here that likes control. And, they're and this is definitely somebody who likes to be in control. And they, and they don't like to lose control. And they're losing control. And I think there's going to be an outburst ahead. An emotional outburst or there's going to be uh, a moment of weakness okay this person is generally very strong this is a moment of weakness or it is weakness this is the the strength reverse is somebody that lacks respect for others Now this person, uh, the Queen of the Queen of Wands, uh, doesn't like to give up. She doesn't give up, and sometimes she's overly optimistic. 
She is. Sometimes she's overly optimistic. She may not be very realistic sometimes because she enjoys power. She enjoys control. She'll do anything to win. She's determined to win. And this could be a she or a he. It's a fire sign, I believe. I feel like this is a fire sign energy that is determined to win. This is... this. Uh this person, you can expect trouble. This is expect trouble from this person. This person likes to be in control. They like to win. They're hiding something. They need to think about whether this is worth it or not because I feel like they could crash. They got a blindfold. Somebody has a blindfold on. They're not seeing clearly. You got a blindfold on, you aren't seeing clearly. So we got somebody here who's not seeing clearly and they may be addicted to something. We have addictions here and there's definitely a difficult path ahead and, and I think something is gonna come to a stop. It's gonna, this is a dead end. They lose their focus. You know, they could turn their eyes for a minute and boom. This is regrets, serious regrets. So my advice is to really think about whatever it is that you're trying to control. Is it, is it worth it? This is, is it worth it? Is it really worth it? Is it worth getting hurt? Somebody could get hurt. Maybe they're driving too fast. If that's what I think it is. I think they're driving too fast. They may they may hit something in the road. They don't see it. Maybe it's dark out. I'm not trying to scare anybody. And they end up with some serious they end up in the hospital perhaps. You know, they end up with some serious regress. They could even end up behind bars. Somebody may end up behind bars. Because they make a foolish decision. I think we have somebody here that makes a foolish decision. That's what I think. They may be having a hard time breaking free from somebody. They do something foolish. They get caught. Or they crash. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So this is this is irresponsible. This is somebody that is irresponsible. This is somebody that um, isn't stable, isn't secure. Isn't doesn't work, doesn't work very hard, is lazy, doesn't have any long term plan, doesn't really um, focus. This is somebody that is probably unemployed, maybe a sponger. This, I feel like this person is. Trying to hold on to something. Anyhow, I feel as though we have a we have a situation here where somebody is trying to break free or they need to break free. They haven't found the strength to do so. They haven't found the strength to do so. And they need to. They need to find the strength to do so. But this nine of this looks like an escape. This nine of pentacles. I mean nine of pentacles. Nine of wands. It does. It looks like somebody is escaping. They're running away. They're trying to get away. So we may have we may have somebody that tries to get away, but there's a difficult path ahead and, and I feel like they get hurt. 
Anyhow, they could end up in the hospital. And they could end up with some serious regrets. Maybe they speed. I feel like they're speeding here. Good luck.